so dark and now so light hi you guys good morning oh i'm so tired i don't know if you can tell but i'm very sweaty because i took my bike to the new apartment i'm in the new apartment now this is the kitchen hello <laughs> i'm introducing you to the kitchen so welcome to the moving vlog i hope you're all doing well god i'm tired <laughs> Today's actually super cold, but since I had to bike and move the back, bike upstairs, I'm just way out of breath. So my vlogs, I've been, I am not lying when I'm telling you that I've been looking for for this day for so long because my bathroom, the bathroom in the new apartment, the fridge is saying hello. The, my bathroom in the new apartment, it's a mess. And I wanted to show you uh, how it's looking because <laughs> it's very messy. So my loves, I want you to brace yourselves because this bathroom is disgusting. So this is the state of the toilet. Very nice, very, very, very soothing as you can see. And the bathtub, which is massive, is just it's in decay so <laughs> i know you're subscribed to this channel to watch me do art and to spend time in my studio so this is way out of our comfort zone but i love a good old before and after and i'm sure you guys are also addicted to cleaning vlogs and people moving furniture around so this is what i'm going to do today i'm going to clean this toilet and do it before and after because I think they're so satisfying and right now we need some satisfaction so I brought I'm gonna do a flat tour afterwards I brought some cleaning supplies oh I brought the plants the other day because every time you move the plants get really stressed out like cats so I brought some cleaning supplies I've been doing my cleaning supplies since I think like two years now. Uh, this is like a multi-purpose cleaning spray. And this is um, bicarbonate of soda, which is my BFF. Every time you have a stain, you guys, use bicarbonate of soda because <laughs> it's the best thing ever. I brought um, recycled paper toilet paper. It's not a recycled toilet paper, but the paper, it's recycled. Oh my God, you don't understand. Uh, <laughs> and also some kitchen towel and also this sweeping brush and this thing which i have no idea what uh, it's called oh and i also brought a hand towel for the um for the bathroom i decided to clean my loves because if my friends wants to use a toilet or the restroom or the kitchen as we move on sunday i want everything to be clean um also i need to clean the fridge a little bit even though it's it's in a good state i just want to make sure that as soon as we put the food everything is you know cleanish so let's do this guys man this lighting is also i need to dye my roots soon but it's okay okay guys let's let's do this
Ini bahasa mimui This is Becca by the way Hi, I'm Becca <laughs> Rebecca Rebecca Not Rebecca but No, Rebecca, Rebecca. Mm. The mess, y'all Look at it I'm gonna keep that plastic cover though Forever and ever so Forever and ever Anybody could put their shoes on the counter Oh yeah, look at that <sighs> With his trainers on top and everything's okay Yeah <laughs> Oh God! You mad? Fuck your you couch. mad? <laughs> Have you guys seen that? What? The fuck your couch thing? No. The Rick James thing? Where is it? What is that? Wait, do we have like five minutes to watch a video? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Go. No puedo, no puedo eliminar la hueá de los wipers. Ya ahí está. Ahora sí, ya lo veré.
Let's just see how many times it takes me to record this. Hi my loves, good morning. It's not morning anymore. Good afternoon. Today's Tuesday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that moving cleaning vlog. It was really fun to edit. Uh, by the way, I already fixed the ceiling if you were wondering. Uh, apparently we got a leak on the upstairs or upstairs na neighbor just like drop a massive glass of water and that's the leak slash concrete from <laughs> falling from the ceiling that you saw but it's already fixed um i really want to do um a flat tour soon uh so stay tuned for that so i wanted to finish this video with a life update i'm i'm kind of like doing that at the end of every video <laughs> now that i think about it um so i'm not gonna lie you guys i'm not I'm going through like a very rough path right now. Uh, it's actually funny. It's not funny. Uh, but last week I was uh, talking to a friend about like how finally my life is smooth sailing and like no news or good news and like how I finally I'm like recovering from last year and I'm just like moving forward and resting and kind of like planning ahead what I want to do. And I kid you not, last Thursday, I got this email from uh, my lawyer saying that my green card application was rejected and 
<laughs> and I'm laughing now, but I've been crying hysterically the past couple of days. And it's hard to talk about this because um, it's so weird because this is the thing, you guys. I know I am a capable human being and I know I deserve the green card. That's like the first thing. But at the same time, it comes, um, there's a lot of embarrassment that I feel right now when sharing this news because when everybody around you says of course you're gonna get the green card like you're an easy deal like of course you're gonna get it you're so talented uh like you have a somewhat successful business and like you have all of these followers and whatnot and i'm like oh okay i wasn't like you know strutting my, my ass or i wasn't like overly confident but i was positive that i was gonna get it so when everybody around you tells you you're so gonna get it and you're lawyer is like yeah we have a super strong case everything's going to be okay and then you don't get it it's like oh my god <laughs> uh this is <laughs> this is so unexpected and i have no idea what to do now uh, i'm gonna have a meeting with my lawyer because yes i've been working uh with an immigration lawyer all this time and uh we're gonna assess what to do now uh, but I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm very scared and I, God, I feel so scared. I have no idea what I'm gonna do now. Um, I really wanna stay in the US. I love Brooklyn and I love the life that I've built here. I love the community, I love having the store here, I love working with Lou, I love all my friends, like I really wanna stay. Um, but things now uh, seem very challenging. And every once in a while, I have this feeling, you guys, that um, I wish things sometimes were easier. I, I'm, I'm having the thought that everything in, in my life is kind of uphill. Um, and maybe it's because I'm a business owner or maybe because I'm an immigrant maybe because I'm a woman, I have no idea, but I, I, I think everything I have I have um, fostered, everything that I, I have cultivated in my life has taken so much work to do. And I wish sometimes things were easier, like one tiny thing, you know, like everyone, like one good news every once in a while, like one thing that it was, you know, nice. And now I feel nervous when sharing this because I don't want to sound ungrateful or um, blind to my own possibilities because I know people, uh, most of, you know, humanity have it way worse. So I hope you can understand where I'm coming from and that I am grateful. It's just that I really needed this to work out, you guys. I. I I really needed this and now um, everything's wide open and uncertain and I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna figure something out it's just that um, I wish I I got it accepted so I'm gonna see what went wrong uh, I'm gonna see if there's a chance of appealing because when you get your ring card rejected that's a thing you can appeal um but i don't know how long it's going to take i don't know what my chances of winning are and i don't know how expensive it is because i already spent you guys an insane amount of money that i am not going to ever see again so um yeah as you can tell things are very i feel deflated you guys um so um and also i don't agree why i got my green card rejected all of the reasons that they gave me it sounds almost like they didn't read the application you know what i'm saying so i feel very frustrated right now because it's almost like no matter how hard i work and i no matter how amazing my letters of recommendation are are uh it looks like the person didn't even read the application so i'm like is this even worth anyway i don't want to get in like ex existentialist but like is it is it even worth it you know um anyway hopefully next week i can bring some like more hopeful slash good news um <clears throat> it's been an amazing month so far i love my apartment <laughs> 
uh, but this just happened to me and I want to share it with you because I love sharing I love showing the ups and downs you know one up thing is that I, I, I'm drinking coffee and I love coffee and the weather it's been super nice and what crappy thing is just like big deny word on a 11 page long letter <laughs> very thick and chunky um so yeah you guys that's what that's what's happening right now i hope your week is going it's going it's going good and you're staying safe thank you so much by the way for all of your comments on last video i read them all and so many compliments on how I look, so I appreciate. I feel glowy as well. Well, maybe after this letter, I'm not gonna feel so glowy, but like, I feel great, you guys. Uh, great and sad at the same time, but like, I, I am doing way better. So it's so nice that it's been reflected on the exterior, you know, the way I look. It's not always the most important thing, but I feel good. And um, anyway, uh, wish me luck with my meeting. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, my loves, for watching this video. I'm filming a lot lately because I want to show you the apartment. And also, Lou and I have been doing screen printing for the store. And uh, and yeah, thank you so much, Patreons, for all your, lo your love and support. You're the ones who allow me to apply for my green card actually so thank you so much for <laughs> all your uh support on that department and also you allow me to you know have a studio and live basically so thank you so much for being here and for watching this video it means so much to me uh i never say this you guys i never beg you to subscribe uh, but I'm gonna see what happens if I ask you to subscribe. So please subscribe if you can and if you have time uh, Okay, see you next week